Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and we're going to be recapping all of the three NBA games that were played today. As um, you know, there wasn't a lot of games played today, but we had a really, really great performance out of one of the games, and that is what we start with tonight. As Giannis Antetokounmpo gets his career high in points um, with fifty-five tonight in a win over the Wizards, one twenty-three to one thirteen. Um, you know, the Bucks, I, I, you know, actually I'm going to go to a point that I have here is that the Wizards are playing a little bit of better basketball. They were able to beat the Bucks a couple of nights ago and that was without Giannis and that was that they beat the Bucks without Giannis, um, and Middleton and Drew Holiday and, um, they going into tonight, Giannis is back um now they didn't do a decent they didn't do a good job of you know dealing with them because he scored 55 points but this was a close game they didn't the bucks didn't blow him out yes it was a 10 point outcome but going into the fourth quarter this was a five point game so the wizards were in this one um so i mean decent job by the wizards but tough loss 123 113 Giannis scores his career high near triple double 55 points 10 rebounds seven assists um the next lead the next higher higher the next high high score high high scorer for the 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 Bucks was Brooke Lopez who had a double double twenty one points and twelve rebounds, also a double double off the bench for Bobby Portis with seventeen points and thirteen rebounds, and Pat Cunning. 10 had 11 as well for the Bucks. For the Wizards, Porzingis had 22 and 9. Kuzma had 20. Daniel Gafford had 11 and 12. Uh, Vajda had 12. And Rihachamor had 12 as well. Um, going to the Thunder and Celtics. How about this one? This was a shocker. The Thunder beat the Celtics. That's not the shocker. 150 to 117. Going in today, you would have told me before this game that the Thunder would beat the Celtics by 33. I would tell you you were high. Um, just great performance by the Thunder as a team tonight. Um, their high, their their only highest their highest score was 25 for Josh Giddy. They had a lot of 20 point scores overall tonight as a team. They had one, two, three, four, five tw uh, players with over 20 points. And also had seven players in double figures. So a great team performance by the Thunder tonight. Um, for the Celtics, Tatum had 27. Jalen Brown had 29. Malcolm Brogdon had 17 and 9. And Peyton Pritchard had 17. Um, those five players that were over 20 for the uh, for the Thunder, you got Jalen Williams with 21. Dort, uh, Lou Dort with 23, Josh Giddy with 25, like I said, Trey Mann 21, Isaiah Joe with 21 as well. Now, do you know who's not playing this game for the Thunder? Shagels Alexander. Um, this shows how young, good talent this team is, the Thunder, um, beating up the Celtics like they did tonight as a team with without uh Shea Gills Alexander that's just crazy and still without Chet Holmgren what they're going to be without him for the whole season but um what this team could be next year is just scary to me uh, also Aaron Wiggins had 17 and Ken Rich Williams had 10 those were the two other players in double figures um if this was the closest game we had tonight and such an interesting game down the finish um so the Kings do win 117 uh to 115 against the Jazz controversy at the end of the game uh we're tied up at 115 Darian Fox makes a layup with 0.4 seconds to go the Jazz have no timeouts they throw it up to Laurie Marketing. he shoots it and it's good from you know pretty far out from three you know like half court but pretty close um now at first they said basket good they reviewed it he still had his ball the, the ball in his hands um when the clock hit 0, 0.0 so in that case bucket is no good kings get the win great game by laurie marketing and you know tough for him because this that was a great shot great step back um to going for it all and getting trying to get the win and um you know just got beat by 0.1 of a second um 
He had 28 tonight, also had eight rebounds. Jordan Clarkson had 24, 18 for Conley, 14 for Jared Vanderbilt, 16 for Malik Beasley. For the Kings, Sabonis had a near triple-double, 21, 14, and 8. Darian Fox had 37. What a night for him, man. Uh, Harrison Barnes had 19 and 8. Keegan Murray had 16, and Kevin Herter had 16 as well. So what a game this was tonight. Um, I wish I would have watched that game. I didn't even I, – f- I forgot that game was on. Um, so yeah, what a game. Um, and what a performance by Giannis. I can't believe 55 was, I can't believe he hasn't gone over 55 yet. Um, I think that, you know, for, here's my opinion, why Giannis has never gone that high in points. You know, obviously we've seen Giannis go 40 in the forties. We've seen him, you know, reach 50. Um, but you know, it's, it's for, for Giannis, I think it's a little bit harder because he, you know, doesn't shoot the ball as much as, you know, guys that have gotten 60, like Donna Mitchell got 71 yesterday. He hit seven threes. Um, Luka Doncic, he's always hitting threes when he's getting high up in there in points. Giannis comes from a lot of points in the paint, a lot of free throws. So, um, but I, I think eventually Giannis will hit 60, um, this season. I don't know, but I think eventually Giannis will get a 60-point game. Um, Does it happen this season? Maybe. I don't know. I really don't. But eventually Giannis will get a 60-point game in his career. I don't know when, though. Um, You guys, let me know what you guys thought about Giannis' career high tonight, 55 points, and a near triple-double, and the, you know, ending of the uh, Jazz Kings game with the, you know, the ball, the, the, the shot that went in. And um, he just got beat by it. Um, so, I mean, I think that was the right call. Obviously, you can tell that that uh, the ball is still in his hands before he shoots it. Um, I mean, the clock is the, the you could tell the clock has already ran out before he lets go of the basketball. So, in that case, the Kings win. Um, obviously. Also, you guys, let me know what you guys thought about the Thunder beating the Celtics. By 33 without Shea Gillis Alexander. Um, great performance by the OKC Thunder tonight. That's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and peace out.